Today's Morning Minute, Kingdom Living in Reality. Feelings have become society's reality. How you feel has become your reality. Your feelings dominate your thinking and thus your actions. If you're hurt by someone, then your feelings of revenge become your reality, thus your action to get even becomes even justified. No, 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 no. Your faith in God through Jesus Christ is your reality, the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, the truth, and the life. Reality is found only in the person of Jesus Christ. Reality is not found in feelings. Feelings are governed by your circumstance. Feelings of fear, anger, hurt, helplessness, confusion, disappointment, resentment, hate, emptiness, powerlessness, unhappiness, and brokenness can lead to your own false reality. Not, not true. Your sound mind is gone when you give control to your feelings and emotions. It's like taming a wild animal. When your feelings are leading your thought process, truth is not present. Sound mind is gone. Wise discretion is gone. Sound judgment is gone. And self-discipline is gone. For God did not give us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. In 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. The reality of truth is a renewed mind found through the Word of God, through the Word of God. The transformed mind is filled with life-giving power and love through Christ Jesus. The transformed mind lives in a state of victory, in a state of victory alive in the Holy Spirit living in you. The transformed mind lives in a state of favor, of favor, forgiveness, peace, righteousness, joy, and love in the Holy Spirit. The pattern of this world is to conform our thinking by our feelings and emotions. In Romans 12, verse 2, we learn a different way to think. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then, then you'll learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. And in Romans 8, verse 6, in the Amplified, Now the mind of the flesh, which is Sense and reason without without the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, is death. Death that comprises all the miseries arising from sin, both here and hereafter. Hereafter. But, 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 the mind of the Holy Spirit is life and the soul peace both now and forever. I want Christ in my life more than anything. I want his love, power, forgiveness, peace, mercy, grace, faithfulness, joy, gentleness, goodness, and self-control. Jesus, you are my living hope. Live through me today. You are my reality and truth. Amen and amen.